Welcome, Foolish Mortals, to another Star Wars collection video. Uh, today, I'm going to show you some of my one of my Stranger collections. Um, and I'd actually forgotten I bought these um, until a little while ago when I ran across them. Um, they are called Star Wars Force Battlers. And they are large figures. They're about a foot tall. Um, they were produced in 2005, so they're on um, Episode 3 packaging. There were some made during the Clone Wars line, too, so they're on the white and blue packaging. But I thought I'd go through and show you some of these and talk about them a little bit. They're a strange Star Wars thing that I own. Um, normally, I wouldn't buy... I don't buy extra stuff like this. I must have found them on clearance or something. That's the only thing I can think of. So, first up is a clone trooper. He comes with a shield and a blaster. And I've always thought this is what a Planet of the Apes Star Wars figure would look like if troopers were in apes were in clone trooper armor. So he has a rocket firing backpack and gun. And it says the clone trooper aims his blaster and fires a missile at his opponent, launch the missiles from his jet pack and open the backpack's wings for aerial assaults. So he does have a backpack. You can kind of see it down in there. Um, so, oops. Um, and then there's Chewbacca. And Chewbacca, of course, has um, some sort of weird water pistol instead of his normal crossbow. Um, I guess he doesn't get his crossbow till later, but um, he's got a water launcher. And you don't need to know anything about Chewbacca because it's Chewbacca. So if you need help with Chewbacca, you should go back and watch the movies. Um, next up is General Grievous, who comes with a blaster and three sabers and an unlit saber. Um, oh, no, it actually has four, four blades. So it does have four blades. Not a bad looking figure. These aren't horrible figures. They're just something I would never collect. So General Grievous is the fearsome fighter. His arms expand so he can battle opponents with four lightsabers. Now they didn't just do like uh, prequel stuff. Here is Luke Skywalker. He's obviously in his... Um, farm boy outfit and he comes with this weird backpack skiff rider thing so you can put it on his back and he's got these big guns that he can fire or you can have him ride um, it as kind of a i don't know a skateboard or something hoverboard but and he does come with a lightsaber so there's at least that there's a mace windu And he comes with a, a force shield, and he also has a rocket that, that attaches to his arm, and he can fire out. Kind of like Boba Fett's flame, except, um, as you can see on the back, it attaches to his arm. I've never understood why Star Wars thinks they need to put more unnecessary action features in things. You really saw it during The Force Awakens figures where they all had some sort of weird functioning missile launching something that they never used in the movie um here is anakin skywalker lightsaber attack so he has uh a uh another gun that fires plus his lightsaber plus he's got a really i mean look at his the claw the claw and they really went all out making him a, a huge hand. Um, there's also Darth Vader. He also comes with an Imperial shield for some reason. Uh, he's got his saber. He doesn't have any fun uh, light functions or anything like that. He doesn't shoot um, missiles. But when you squeeze his legs together, he sweeps across like that. So... 
eh, that could have been worse. Um, next up is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Obi-Wan does come with a extra gun. Uh, a gun and some sort of missile firing thing as well. And then when you squeeze his legs together, he also does his lightsaber attack action. So, odd figure, considering Obi-Wan doesn't like guns. And the last, but certainly not least, is my boy, Emperor Palpatine. And he comes with some sort of Dragon Ball Z force wave power. I don't know. I don't know. It comes with a, a red one and a blue one, so I don't know why he's shooting blue. You know, it's... Do you have any idea? No, I would not be shooting red or blue. I would only shoot red. So, and on the back, it shows several more that I don't have. There's a Yoda. There's a Stormtrooper. A normal Stormtrooper. There's a Boba Fett, um, which is really hard to get. I, I thought about completing the set, but actually they're way too expensive for something I don't care about at all. So... Um, as with most things this heavy, they they get damaged right up here at the top for the pegs. Uh, so if you're going to get them, know that most of them that you're going to get, are, uh, that I've looked at at least online, are going to have that damage up on the peg hook. So that's it. It's one of the weirder things I have. I'm going to go see if I can't find my uh, Transformer Star Wars. I do not have very many of those. I think I only have four or five of them. But they were... They were a crossover I hated and didn't really want to buy any of, but I wanted to have a, a representation of it in my collection. Excuse me. So, until I can find those and get to you, catch you on the flip side.